What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program, and today we are continuing day 27 of our multi-day, multi-week adventure. Today we're going to Duna with a curiosity-type probe. Um, so there's two of these rovers up there, and this is going to be our first of two. So this one's really crude. The next one will be like a cool sky crane type, you know, rocket descent thing. But in the meantime, this is this is our first little test flight. I just want to see how this probe performs on Duna. And, you know, I don't do a lot of takes with this. You know, I don't pre-prepare a lot of these things. I just play games and record it. So we are going to see what happens here. I have no idea. I've put it down in a crater or a canal. Um, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that that's going to be safe. You know, when the parachute's open, we're going to start slowing down. So it'd be nice to maybe fall in like here, but I'm really hoping we don't come up short. If we come up in like a hilly section, I'm almost certain that this, this launch module is not going to work and the curiosity might suffer some irreparable damages. Um, yeah, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's, let's, let's descend this fucker. <sighs> one take. One take to rule the world. Alright. We are beginning our final descent into madness. Let's see, can we turn this way? And I'm going to punch it. Just trying to turn us to the right a little bit. Oh, it's walking way off course. Oh, we're hitting atmosphere, I think. Okay, we'll stop that. We'll try and get back to square. Good enough. Good enough. Whew. Okay, did that true us up a bit. Yeah, I guess so. We're closer to the center. Moved us over a few feet. <laughs> Alright, I don't really want to open my chutes until we're kind of in the crater a little more for obvious reasons. But this should do it. Okay, let's pop them. Looking great. It looks like we're going to come down right in the middle of this little canal. All right, shoots are out. Slowing us down real fast because there's so many of them. I also have a lot of RCS jets on there. I figured too many is better than not enough, and I can adjust it on the second craft. If it's too many, I'll take a few off. If it's not enough, I'll put a few more on. Because again, whatever happens here, this is just, we're going to roll with this. The next craft will hopefully be a, a, a perfect success, but if this one fails, it's going to fail on its own merit. Because that's how NASA rolls. NASA doesn't get mulligans. NASA can't just revert to launch pad. Where's our shadow? I'm trying to. Where's the sun? Okay, there's the sun, so the shadow should be. There it is. All right. I'm going to turn SAS off. Because we definitely want to just level this thing out. Leveling out. All right. I wish I had like lasers that could sense if the ground is level. Can I just. Move this down, maybe? No, nope, can't really tell. It looks like I might come down either in one of these small hills or valleys. Not 100% sure. Yeah, I wish there was a way to spot your landing better. But I'm not going to be picky. Because frankly, it doesn't matter too much. Let's see, will this actually shed speed off? Oh yeah, like crazy. Okay, so I don't have to punch it until, not necessarily the last second, but... Oh shit. Yeah, let's get the landing segment ready. Oh, 
looks really flat. I really, I cannot tell. I'm not very good at judging. It looks shadier up here and darker up here. Maybe that means it's uphill, if that's the case. Let's see if I can spin this bitch around a little bit. Try and get it pointed downhill, maybe. Yeah, that actually kind of worked. <laughs> this thing drives. Okay. Where's our shadow? There we are. We are gently touching down. Come on. Come on. Beauty. All right. Textbook landing. All right. Can we just decouple that? Decouple that. I wish this one went as far away as as that one. Maybe I can just push it with some RCS. Yeah, it's pushing it. It's pushing it. It's pushing it. Push it real good. Good enough. <laughs> good enough. It should roll right past it. I. I I think. Let's see if we can just crush it a bit. Come on. There we go. Good. Check. Okay. And we just need to let's take our brakes off, decouple the craft, pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward, and we are away. All right, beautiful. All right, we are gonna park it carefully. Whew. You never wanna jam the brakes down too hard. I wish there was a way to disable the brakes because if you jam the brakes too hard in the front, right, it'll like pivot up on the nose and flip right over. It should really make a disable brake feature. But nonetheless, we're here. Little Proby Mick probe bag here is, go oh, let's save. There we go. Now that we're here, now that we have successfully put this here, look at this black magic. Look at these struts just floating there. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's see if it drives. Now that we've saved. Oh, turn off RCS. Let's turn on SAS, just so maybe it'll try and keep the thing level. So if it does start driving erratically, we can maybe uh, salvage it. Yeah, awesome. Oh, getting a little speed. Let's trim that down a bit. You never really want to be going more than four or five meters a second. Unless you want to flip a craft. Oh, this thing handles pretty good. I like it. It's great. I wish I could set it. Another thing, I wish I could, you know, you put the little um, brain, the little pilotless driver thing. You should be able to set a path. I should be able to tell that thing using, you know, as long as you've got line of sight to earth, as long as you can get data, say, that it would drive itself around. You know, you could set a course and it would go do it at a set speed, you know, two and a half meters per second. You could go collect science, you know, while, uh, while you're doing other things. That'd be really neat. I'm going a little fast, but why don't we just park it right here for now? We'll pretend like it just ended a five-day journey down into this crater from a, a landing site up on that hill, say. So let's break, 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 broke. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you uh, comment on the video. I hope you share the video. I hope you put it on your Facebook, tell your friends to check it out as well. I hope you send me a dollar, send me a bag of Lay's potato chips, send me a Pepsi, Coke sucks. Guys, until next time, cheers.